Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the values of x for which the series converges. And then we're going to find the sum of the series for those values of x. To do that we're going to use something called the geometric series test. So the geometric series test says if you have an infinite sum that is a geometric series, so something like a times r to the n, one of two things can happen. The first is if the absolute value of r is less than 1, then your series will converge. So we have that the series converges. The second case is if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1. In this case, the series diverges. So we want convergence in this problem, so we're going to be trying to use uh, this condition here. So the first step will be to write it in this form. So notice they're both to the nth power. So we can write this as the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And we can write it as a single number, so x plus 3 over 2, and this whole thing is to the nth power. So now we can identify r. r is whatever is being raised to the nth power. So r is equal to x plus 3 and it's all over 2. And we want convergence. So we want this to be less than 1 in absolute value. So we force it. So we're basically going to put absolute value bars around this. So x plus 3 over 2 and we want it to be less than 1 because we want to force uh, convergence. When you take the absolute value of a fraction, you basically just take the absolute value of each piece. So it's the absolute value of x plus 3 over the absolute value of 2, which is just 2. So I won't write the absolute value. And that's less than 1. Now we can multiply by 2, and that will get rid of the fraction. So we have the absolute value of x plus 3, and that's less than 2. Whenever you have an absolute value and a less than, you can drop the absolute value, and you'll get x plus 3, and here you get a less than 2, and then here you get a negative 2. I just memorize it, less than, less than, less than, positive, negative. To finish solving for x, we can just subtract 3 from all three sides. So minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. So you get minus 5, less than x, less than negative 1. That's actually the answer. That would be the set of all x for which the series converges. We can write it in interval notation. And if we do, we should use parentheses because we have uh, strict inequalities. So this is negative 5, comma negative 1, just like that, to be the set of all x for which the series converges. This is actually called uh, the interval of convergence. Okay, to find the sum, all you do is you take whatever number is here and you plug it in. So we would get x plus 3 over 2 to the 0 power. So take whatever is here and plug it in, and then you just divide by 1 minus r. So 1 minus x plus 3 over 2. This always works. Whenever you're looking for the sum of a, of a convergent geometric series, you just take whatever is here, you plug it in, and then just divide by 1 minus r. The numerator is going to be 1 because anything to the 0 power is 1. And on the bottom, we still have 1 minus x plus 3 over 2. We can clean this up, and I think maybe the fastest way to do it is to multiply by 2 over 2. When we do that, check this out, in the numerator we get 2 times 1, which is 2. In the denominator we have to actually distribute the 2, so 2 times 1 is going to give us 2, and then here the 2's cancel, so we're left with minus, and careful, this is actually in parentheses, parentheses x plus three, really, really sneaky. This is equal to two over two, and then there's a one here, 
So we'll distribute it. So minus x minus 3, right? Minus x minus 3. Almost there. This is 2 over 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So you get minus 1 minus x. And that would be the sum of the series for these values of x. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.